All right, guys. For the first upgrade, we're gonna be putting on some new, some new grips. I got the white and black colorway. It should look pretty good on my bike. Just want to replace the old ones because they're looking worn out and look kind of dirty. Just I think they're just the stock grips. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real fast. All right, guys. So the first thing I like to do when I take off my uh, old grips is sometimes they'll be wrapped with this wire. I just like to cut that wire off with a pair of little snippers like this. So what we're gonna do is go in there and try and chop that with these little guys. There's one. Just take that off. And you take in your nippers and get the second. Just pull that up. Break it, which it didn't break. Now it will. Go like that, pull it up, break it, pull that one off, throw it in the garbage. And then next, if you can, you can just slip off the grip, but sometimes they're a pain in the ass. So what I do next is I take my Costco supplied knife and cut a slit. Let me see if I can show you. Usually half, because the Handlebar is tapered on the way up. This half is pretty easy to take off, but it's just this half of the grip Because it's tapered right here that it gets tighter So I'll just slit it with a knife Should slip pretty easy Just do that and You should be able to tear it off And there you go. So after you got this, you can see there's some dirt on there. There you go. So I'll take a rag and just wipe that off. Make sure you get it nice and clean. Then we'll grab our grip. And this grip just uses a, an Allen head right there on the end and it locks. So what you're gonna do is make sure this is nice and clean. We're gonna loosen the Allen head. Try and get it loose as we can, that way you can slide it onto our handlebar. Then what we're gonna do is go ahead and try and shove it up there. Should be pretty easy. And get it right on the end. And then I like having the lettering facing me when I'm writing. So put it right there. We'll go to the Allen head that's on the bottom down here. And we'll tighten it up. Now that I got it tight, I like to flip my wrench around and get another turn on it, if I can. Okay, now I got it tight. Shouldn't move. Should be a nice, good grip, ready to go riding. Okay, guys, on the throttle side, it's a little more difficult just because you have to use the, uh, the cam. The cam is this black piece right here on the grip. So make sure you have the cam that's for your bike. Uh, for this exact grip, the cam is Cam A for the KX250F. Make sure you don't get it for the KX250, that is Cam C. Okay, so for this, we're going to take off the cover where the uh, throttle wire goes into. Just remove it back so you can expose the screws. And split the and split this whole section right here. So we'll take out the top screw first. Take out this top screw. And we'll take out the bottom screw next. And 
then that should allow us to split the housing that the cam sits inside of. So this is the housing. And that leaves us with the wire and the cam. So we'll take our grip that we know has the right cam on it. Take the wires out of the cams, which they should just slide out, theoretically. Take that one out, and we'll take this front one out, which you just pull the wire up and then slide the bell out. Put our new grip on. Install the wire into the cam by sliding the bell in and then putting in the wire. Do the same for the back side. Slide the bell in and put the wire in. And you should be able to put your cam housing back on. You can remember which way it goes. Make sure you get everything lined up inside there. And then what I do is I put the bottom screw in, tighten it so it's, not so it's tight, but just so it's holding everything together on the bar. You kind of feel it tension up. Then I put the top screw in and do the same, just so it's tight. Not tight, but just so it clamps everything up against the bar, still sliding it freely. And then I push it in so the grip will seat all the way. And then I tighten the bottom bolt first, because most of the times this will get in your way of tightening the bolt. And then I'll tighten the top bolt second. Tighten the bottom again, make sure it's nice and snug. Get the top a second time. And then I'll slip the boot back over. Make sure nothing gets muddy and dirty. Make sure you get your boot back on here. And voila, you got a brand new grip. All right guys, so thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make it easy for you guys to put on your grips uh, if you have any other suggestions or something you want done on a KX250, uh, mention it in the comments and I'll try and do it, do a little tutorial on it. Uh, until next time, see you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.